Hey everyone, Harrison and Lime Tano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of the new Sturgill Simpson album, A Sailor's Guide to Earth. Singer-songwriter Sturgill Simpson here with a new record. At one time, a humble country singer on the genre's indie circuit. He had a decent amount of buzz behind his last album, Meta Modern Sounds in Country Music, which I admired from afar. I didn't really love the record. I thought it was a little too retro for its own good, but if you're a country purist looking for that kind of old school country outlaw country sound, then this record is great. But me personally, I thought it was a little coloring by the numbers. I didn't really get a sense of who Sturgill Simpson was as an artist. What makes a Sturgill Simpson song? Is it recognizable on impact? However, this new album over here, which is Sturgill Simpson's debut record for Atlantic Records. He has changed to a major on this one. This album is leaving a much larger impression on me, and it's because it's so quality. And don't be scared by the fact that this is a country record coming out on a major record label. This is not your commercial cookie cutter country. It's actually diverse and layered, nuanced, and pretty refined. Occasionally it's even soulful with its hot horn sections and funky drumming. He's not playing with an old school or a stereotypical country sound on this one. Some tracks have been slowed down into a very somber ballad style elevated by lots of arranged instrumentation, especially string sections. The production, even though it sounds very expensive, it's pretty classy, it's pretty tasteful, and, and very rarely does Simpson's voice get lost in all the instrumentation. He comes through some pretty strong, passionate vocals that keep him as the center of attention. Now, I like this record a lot, but I sort of wonder how people are going to take it. It is, in some respects, an alt-country album. It's alt enough to be riding the fringes. It's probably not going to be making it onto country radio anytime soon, or at least most of the tracks. However, this is not just some indie country, indie folk, like hipster country record. Some tracks on here, like Sea Stories, are shamelessly southern, and not that there's any shame in being from the south, but still. I do like the song in particular, though. The lyrics are great. Some secondhand war stories on here, talking about being an egg in Uncle Sam's beater. Not usually an angle that you hear in a country song these days, which are typically very, very patriotic. But Sturgill Simpson has sense enough to sort of see the individuality of this soldier protagonist in the song and kind of see him as being ground up into the war machine. So there are true blue country songs on this record, but Simpson and his band have the talent to reference pretty deep outside of the genre, or even work in a groaning bass synth into the song Brace for Impact that works. And pull off a tear in your beer rendition of Nirvana's In Bloom, that's <laughs> pretty good too. The lyric, you don't know what it means to love someone actually translates pretty well to a uh, country instrumentation. A country rendition of a classic grunge song could have gone much, much worse than what we have here. The glistening pianos at the song Welcome to Earth Pollywog are really beautiful. They're almost story or lullaby-like. I wasn't sure how to take them at first because it seemed like such a huge departure from Simpson's last record, but he brings the really passionate and dramatic, almost theatrical vocal delivery that this huge instrumentation calls for. And then the track sort of transitions suddenly into this really visceral instrumental stomper, and Simpson, I guess, gracefully transitions with that instrumentation. The lyrics are essentially welcoming Simpson's newborn son into the world, and this isn't the only part on the album where he references parenthood, fatherhood, his grandfather, familial ties, uh, life lessons. That's what the song Keep It Between the Lines is essentially about, where the drums kind of make this track a, a funky country tune. Lyric after lyric, Simpson tries to drop all of this father-to-son insight, but this album isn't without its contradictions, because just a few tracks later, uh, the message from the album is live a little. This track has an equally catchy guitar riff, but I do think it it is a little blander than some of the other cuts here. I think Simpson's vocals get lost in the uh, roaring guitars a bit. While the song All Around You is pretty much a straight soul song, um, 
I, I wouldn't say Simpson makes soul music his own on this track, but he definitely, with his band, uh, knows enough to pull this sound off without a hitch. Uh, there's a track on here in tribute to his significant other, talking about the stresses of performance life, of the music industry life kind of weighing on him, but her love and their love for each other is going to kind of pull him through this madness that the, the world is driving him to in his head. And the closer kind of returns to a lot of these war themes, the song Call to Arms, where Simpson basically goes on a rampage about drones and people just looking at their phones, the media, he's got bills to pay. It's a really fiery finish to the album, and it's great that the record starts as strong as it ends. And the whole thing rounds out at like a very tight 39 minutes doesn't overstay its welcome at all. Each song really serves a strong purpose. There's nothing on here that feels like filler to me. A few tracks that pale in comparison to others, but even the Nirvana cover here felt like essential to the flow of the record. This is a very consistent, quality, enjoyable country album with, again, a lot of great production, a lot of great instrumentation, nuance, stylistic diversity. He's pulling so far outside of the country genre sometimes, but he still kind of maintains that southern twang in his voice and his storytelling style. I'm feeling a strong seven to a light eight on this thing. Transition! Have you given this album a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best. You're the best. What should I review next? Hit that like if you like. Please subscribe or you'll die. Click on a video next to my head. If you want to see another video, have a nice day. Listen to this Sturgill Simpson album. Say your prayers, eat your vegetables, hug your mom forever.